Are you ready to train your brain with yeah. the help of these tricky brain teasers? Then let's get started. Look at these ladies and try to figure out who's not very smart. Even though the first woman looks as if she's about to touch a hot iron, the device is actually unplugged, so she won't hurt herself. The second lady, though, is about to touch a heated waffle maker. Oh no! John's parachute hasn't opened, and he's now plunging toward the ground. Does he have higher chances of survival if he falls into a lake or on a haystack? He should try to fall on a haystack. Do you see crocodiles hiding near the shore of the lake? Uh -oh. What do you think is more dangerous in this situation? A bear or a swarm of bees? Look, the bear is about to run after its prey. It won't pay any attention to you. But bees seem to be angry. They'll most likely go after you. Look at these people. Who's most likely to survive? The man hanging over the fire? A woman tied over a barrel filled with toxic liquid? Or this guy swinging over a field of sharp needles? The woman hanging over the barrel with toxic liquid is the one who will survive. Look. There's a hole in the barrel, and the liquid is leaking out of it. The woman just needs to wait until the barrel is empty and untie herself. To get out of the locked room, Jeremy had to crack this puzzle. 1 equals 5, 2 equals 15, 3 equals 215, 4 equals 3215, 4 equals 3215, 5 equals… What number is hidden under the question mark? It's 1, 5 equals 1, because 1 equals 5. But the door of the room still didn't open. Apparently, Jeremy had to solve another riddle. He had to arrange four nines in such a way that they were equal to 100. He could use any math symbols. How can the guy do it? Jeremy figured out the correct answer pretty fast. 99 plus 9 divided by 9 equals 100. You're crossing a railroad bridge when you spot a train coming toward you. The bridge is built over a lake swarming with crocodiles, so jumping into the water is out of the question. How can you survive in this situation? You're farther away from the shore you came from and won't have enough time to get back to that side. So your only option is to run toward the train really fast and turn left or right when you cross the bridge. Jack is taking part in a challenge. He's reached the final stage, which takes place in a desert. If he succeeds now, he'll win $1 million. There are four pots in front of him. In each of them, there's a key. Jack needs to get any key from any pot. but. On top of the first pot, there's a bowl filled with a strong acid. The second pot is covered with a bowl full of venomous spiders. In the bowl placed on the third pot, Jack sees a raging fire. A viper is curled up in the bowl covering the fourth pot. Uh -oh. Jack isn't allowed to drop the bowls or turn them over. Which pot should he choose? The guy should choose the third bowl. He can put the fire out with sand. He's in the desert after all. And get the key. David's company develops apps for smartphones. Right now, he's looking for a designer. He's got hundreds of resumes, but he's chosen just three of them. Angela's resume says, I'm 23 years old. I don't have a lot of experience, but I'm a fast learner and have already designed similar applications. Helen wrote in her resume, 
I'm 26 and have four years of work experience. You should hire me because I've created lots of TikTok stories that have gone viral. And Eric's resume claims he's 28 years old with seven years of work experience. He's designed tons of apps and he's been working for Google since the company was launched. David can only hire one person, but it's okay because one applicant hasn't lied in their resume. Who is it? Eric has just seven years of work experience, but Google was officially launched in 1998. There are no stories on TikTok, meaning Helen couldn't create them. David hired Angela, even though she hasn't been working for a long time. She's honest and has a nice portfolio. Three friends agreed to hang out together on Friday night. One of them, Brian, was tasked with bringing pizza. But the guy was running extremely late. His friends were starving. Strangely, Brian wasn't picking up their calls. But in an hour or so, he sent them a selfie. In the photo, he was standing next to his car. In the following message, he wrote he had run out of gas. He was at a gas station, tanking his car up. But his friends didn't believe Brian's excuses. Why? In the picture, it's clearly seen that the guy has got an electric car. It doesn't need gas. Mark told his wife he was going on a business trip to Canada and asked her to pack his bag for him. It was winter, so his wife packed a pair of very warm socks, a scarf, and a knitted hat for Mark. When Mark came back, he said that his business trip was successful. Then he asked his wife why she hadn't put his toothbrush and toothpaste in his suitcase. The woman immediately understood that her husband was lying about going on a business trip. How did she figure it out? She put his toothbrush and toothpaste under the scarf, hat, and warm socks. If he didn't take them out of his bag, it probably wasn't very cold outside, which means that, most likely, he was not in Canada. One out of nine identical balls is heavier than the others. How can you figure out which one it is after just two weighings? You need to divide all the balls into three groups and weigh two of them. That's how you can figure out which group contains the heavy ball. After that, you should pick two balls from the heaviest group. Weigh one against the other you'll understand which ball of the three is the heaviest. There was a blackout in the city, but the bus driver still noticed a dog on the road and managed to stop in time and avoid hitting the animal. How did he do this? This accident happened during the day. You have six glasses standing in a row on the table. The first three of them are filled with water, and the other three are empty. You need to move just one glass to arrange them in such a way that full and empty glasses alternate. How can you do it? Just pick up glass number two and pour the water into glass number five. You enter a room and see that there's nothing inside but a blackboard on the wall. There are four words written on it. Pin, check, boiling, view. You have to figure out a five-letter word that can be added to each of them to make an existing word or word combination. Have you realized that the necessary word is point? Then you'll get pinpoint. Checkpoint, boiling point, and viewpoint. Now, you're in a strange building that looks like a planetarium. There are photos of distant stars on the walls. In the middle, there's a screen with a riddle on it. N-E-U-S-R-N-E-R-R-S-T-H. U-S. Question mark. You have to figure out what is hiding under the question mark. If 
you've realized that the correct answer is RY, congratulations! The list is made up of the last two letters of the names of the planets of the solar system, in the order from Neptune to Mercury, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Earth, Venus, Mercury. Two daughters and two mothers went out to a cafe. Each of them ate a slice of pizza. But strangely, only three slices were eaten. How come? These ladies are a grandmother, a mother, and a daughter. Two of them are moms, and two are daughters. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Look at this picture. Where is the bank robber hiding? He's over there, behind the bushes. The bank robber has managed to escape from the police. Try to figure out where he's hiding now. See that maintenance hole? That's where the criminal is. This robber is just too fast. He's escaped again and is now hiding in one of these fitting rooms. Help the police find him. He must be in the middle fitting room. See that bag with all the cash he's stolen? Look at this image attentively and try to figure out what's wrong here. In reality, the guy is holding a tube of toothpaste in his left hand, but in the reflection in the mirror, he's got nothing in his hand. How about this picture? What's wrong here? Um, is this lady charging her cat? This picture looks off too. But what exactly seems strange? It's the girl in the front. She isn't reflected in the water. Now the next image to challenge your observation skills. Does anything strike you as odd in this picture? Look at the TVs. They show different things in reality and in the reflection in the mirror. Can you figure out what this means? Right you are! F plus arm equals farm. Now this one is a tiny bit tougher. What does this rebus mean? Storm, TH. It's thunderstorm. And how about this one? Can you crack it easily? Re plus boot equals reboot. Ew, insects! But can you guess this word? How many ants are there? 10. So the correct answer is 10 plus ants equals 10 ants. I have eight fingers and two thumbs, but I'm not alive. What am I? I'm a pair of gloves.
Which person is different from the others? Right you are, this one with shorter hair. Try to figure out which emoji is the odd one. The one at the bottom, it looks pretty angry. I challenge you to find a cat that's different from the rest. Right, it's the one closer to the bottom, facing away from you. Which image is the odd one? This little rebel is turned in the opposite direction. Have you noticed anything wrong in this picture? The ball! They're playing soccer, not basketball! Which cow is different from the others? The one waving at you, of course. How about these burgers? Do any of them stand out? See, this burger is smaller than the rest. There's something wrong with this picture. What exactly? It's the river. It seems to just disappear under the bridge. Is there a hole in the ground there? Which emoji is the odd one? The one with its mouth missing. There's something that doesn't seem quite right in this picture. But what? The rainbow! Its colors are a bit messed up. Can you find a pig among these birdies? Here it is, hiding behind the bush! Which emoji is different from the others? It's the unwinking one, with both of its eyes open. These smiley faces look so cool, all but one. This emoji isn't exactly all that smiley. There's something wrong with this keyboard. Can you figure out what exactly? There are two eights on it, but no nines. Which pooch is the odd one? This doggy seems to be friendlier than the rest. Find the odd avocado. Right, it's the one with the heart-shaped pit. Which emoji is different from the others? This little guy is just a wannabe. It isn't a unicorn. It's a horse that's probably dreaming of becoming a unicorn. Can you find the odd emoji?
The one at the bottom seems to be even more in love than the rest. The hearts in its eyes are bigger than what other emojis have. One of these music notes is different. Which one? Ah, now I see it! What's wrong with this picture? The calendar claims it's August 2018, but the computer is sure it's still August 2017. Can you spot a teddy bear without a hat? Here it is! There's something strange about this picture, but what exactly? One of the birds doesn't have a reflection. Creepy. Which sheep couple is different from the others? This one, the lady sheep is facing away from her admirer. Amy was walking through a forest and saw three portals in front of her. Each could take her to a different place. The first one would send her to the moon. The second portal would move her to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. And the last one would take her 30,000 years back, when large dinosaurs were still roaming our planet. Uh -oh. Which portal should she choose to survive? The third one. Dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago. Amy will be safe there. John was looking for a gift for his mom at a shopping mall when he noticed that one of the stores had a mysterious extension. It led to a vault filled with diamonds and gold jewelry. As soon as the guy walked in, the store owner locked him in the room. He told John he had to eat one of the three cookies on the table and managed to get out of the room. Then he'll be rewarded generously. The first cookie would turn John into an animal. The second cookie would turn him into a giant. And the last one would make him invisible. Which cookie should John eat? The first one. He can turn into some small animal, like a hamster, and squeeze through the bars. That's how he'd get out and win the gold. Mr. Lawrence called the police. He said someone had taken his car for a joyride, crashed it into a streetlight, and ran away. The man was sure it had been one of his neighbors. The police questioned three of them. Ivy answered she'd been at work and arrived home only in the evening. Cameron told the police he'd been helping his dad remove old stuff from the attic. And Aaron claimed he'd been hanging out with his friends, eating pizza, and watching the latest series. After listening to all the suspects, the police officers arrested one of them. Who was it? It was Cameron. There's no attic in his house. He invented the whole story. Naomi invited her friends to a pajama party at her house. The only thing she asked the girls was, Don't enter my brother's room. He loves playing tricks on people. And once you get there, you might not be able to get out. They were gossiping and watching viral TikTok videos when one of Naomi's friends asked, Wait, where's Rebecca? Meanwhile, Rebecca went to the kitchen to drink some water, but she got lost and ended up in Naomi's brother's room. The door closed behind her back, and it wouldn't open. The girl noticed a password lock with letters on it. Rebecca looked around and spotted a piece of paper on the table with five numbers on it. Three, seven, six, nine, two. The girl thought for a while, then entered a combination of letters and got out of the room. What was the password? The code was the first letters of the five numbers, T-S-S-N-T. An expensive ring went missing from a jewelry store on the first floor of a large shopping mall. The manager called the police. After watching the CCTV camera footage, 
they had three suspects, a student, a woman with a daughter, and an elderly man. The student said he had agreed to meet with his friend next to the jewelry store. I didn't even set foot inside, the woman said. I was at the movies with my daughter here in the mall when everything happened. The elderly man said, Yes, I did enter the store. I felt unwell and asked for a glass of water, but I didn't take the ring. Who's lying? Look, all the movies running at that time had a 16 plus age rating. The woman wouldn't have been able to watch any of them with her young daughter, so she must have lied. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.